Used every day in the fight against foodborne illness, thermometers ensure that our food is at the right temperature, making it as safe as possible for our kids to eat. But what should you do when your trusty thermometer is no longer accurate? Today, we will be teaching you how to properly calibrate a metal stem thermometer using the ice water method. I'm Daisy. And I'm Daniel. And this is a flash of food safety, helping grow food safety through science, training, and culture, one flash at a time. Daniel and I will be showing you how to properly calibrate your thermometers using the ice water method. Remember that ideally you should be checking and calibrating your thermometers every day, but definitely at least once a week. That's right. Now let's get started. To calibrate your thermometer using the ice water method, start off by filling up a container with ice and then adding a bit of water until it's within one inch of the top of the container. Stir it well and let it stand for one minute to ensure that it reaches the right temperature. Next, place the thermometer in the container so that the tip is completely submerged and the water covers the dimple. Let the thermometer sit for at least 30 seconds in the ice water. Make sure that the thermometer stem or probe does not touch the side or the bottom of the container. Next, while the thermometer is still in the ice water, Rotate the calibrating feature that is right underneath the dial until it reaches 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Many thermometers already come with a rotating feature, but if yours doesn't, simply use a small wrench or a calibrating tool like this one to rotate the hex adjusting nut. Remember that some digital thermometers have a reset button that should be pushed. After you have calibrated your thermometers, it's a good idea to make a note of the date and time you did the recalibration. This way, other workers know that the thermometers are accurate. And you always have a clear record in case there's a question about food safety. Feel free to jot this down on your temperature log for easy access. Now that our thermometer has been recalibrated, it's ready for use again. Next time on A Flash of Food Safety, we will be teaching you how to calibrate a thermometer using the boiling water method. We'll see you then.